My name is Ulysses S. Grant. Today is April 12th, 1861. And this is log one in my video diary. I've wanted to do a video diary now for a while, but the reason I'm finally starting one today is because there's been an attack on Fort Sumter in South Carolina, and I will be rejoining the military service. It's been roughly seven years since I've been in the military when I served in the Mexican-American War as a captain. In the seven years since, it's been rather quiet. I've been staying with my wife, and I've even had time to try out farming for a little bit. But now, at the age of 39, I feel that duty calls, and I do feel ready to answer that call. Well, it's finally happening. Got my military assignment today. I am the Colonel of the 21st Volunteer Infantry. Now, this is actually a step up from being captain, and I'm excited for the opportunities ahead. I received my first promotion today. It's July 31st, 1861. And thanks to the support of Illinois Congressman Washburn, I've been promoted to Brigadier General. Today is February 17th, 1862. Yesterday, my troops and I were able to capture Fort Donelson in Tennessee. This ensures that Kentucky will stay with the Union, but also allows for further Union advances into Tennessee. For this, I was given the promotion of Major General of Volunteers, and I will honor that title. It's the morning of April 8th, 1862, and around two days ago, exactly two days ago, about 30,000 Confederates came from the woods and attacked me and 65,000 of my men. Thankfully, we were able to create a battle line by the afternoon. And by the time reinforcements came, we were able to pummel them down to around 30,000. Once the reinforcements had arrived, I launched a counteroffensive along the entire battle line and was able to win the battle for the Union. Now, it appears that this battle, that these Confederate troops were sent to stop us from making it all the way to Mississippi. However, because of the sheer amount of troops that were just deployed upon us today, or over the last few days, I believe this is the last big attack by the Confederacy to stop us from reaching Mississippi. It's November of 1862. The march onto Vicksburg has begun. Vicksburg is located on high ground overlooking the Mississippi River, so controlling it is key to Union victory. The year is now 1863. The Emancipation Proclamation has just been put into effect under President Lincoln. Now I have my own policy to instate. This policy says that any man of color who wishes to join the military can do so and will be protected by the military and will also receive financial compensation for their time in the military. Today is July 4th, 1863. The battle for Vicksburg is finally concluded and Pemberton has finally surrendered after holding out for more than 40 days since the initial besieging was on May 25th. Now we await a Union attack on Port Hudson. If the Union controls Port Hudson along with Vicksburg, the Confederacy will be essentially split in half. Today is March 9th, 1864, and I have just been promoted to Lieutenant General. This gives me control over all of the Union forces. I am honored that the President would consider me for this role, and I will not disappoint. Today is April 1st, 1865. And for the past 10 months, I've been trying to capture the Confederate capital of Richmond, Virginia. However, today I launched my first major offensive strike. First, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send out a bunch of troops down to the junction in Petersburg, just south, south of Richmond. Now, they're going to be able to cut out the supply lines there. Now, if that's successful, I'm going to send the rest of my troops out along the supply lines, and hopefully that'll be enough to collapse the Confederacy. If we do pull it off, hopefully Union, the Union will have control over Richmond within three to five days. Uh, it's April 3rd, 1865, and the plan worked. Uh, Richmond is now under Union control. I don't see the Confederates being able to last much longer, and I feel as though the war has come to an end. Uh, today is April 12th, 1865, and it's a historic day. Today, I'm meeting with General Lee to accept his surrender. The Union has won the war. My troops can go home proud to their families. And this also means this is the last diary or journal entry. So with that, I say farewell until, I don't know, maybe I become president or something.